After tourists on a safari spotted an elephant, they suddenly realized they were in grave danger. On a sunny morning in January 2018, a group of tourists were on safari in Botswana's Chobe National Park. Sightseers got a treat when a cute baby elephant and its mother popped out from a clearing. Botswana's Chobe National Park spans an area of around 11,700 square kilometers. It was the first of its kind in the country, and since its inception in 1968, it has become renowned for its vast elephant population. However, this hasn't always been the case. The 19th century saw an unprecedented slaughter of animals in the country due to poaching by Europeans and locals. Indeed, by 1890, a large amount of the country's game had been wiped out and it took almost 80 years for elephant numbers to fully recover. Over the last five decades, though, the park's animals have thrived. In fact, the reserve is now known to have the greatest elephant population in the entire world. There are three different recognized types of species, the African bush elephant, the African forest elephant, and the Asian elephant. The group that resides in Botswana, however, is the African bush or Kalahari elephant, and it is the largest of all three species. With this in mind, it is perhaps of little surprise that other than humans, adult African bush elephants generally have no predators. Despite this, poaching combined with loss of land has caused the number of animals to fall. The African bush elephant is renowned for having short ivory tusks that are quite brittle, which is believed to be caused by a lack of calcium in their which is believed to be caused by a lack of calcium in the soil. Regardless, the elephant's tusks have made them a target for poachers. And although hunting African bush elephants has been illegal since 1989, poaching continues. Elephant numbers worldwide have fallen by 62% over the last decade, according to World Elephant Day. It added that around 100 of them are now killed every day by poachers driven by a threefold increase in the price of ivory between 2010 and 2014. Despite the risks to elephants, safari tours in the Chobe National Park continue to be immensely popular. Indeed, the reserve offers visitors a number of travel packages that include a guided tour in 4x4s. And that's exactly what one particular group of tourists were doing on a sunny morning in January 2018. Indeed, in a video shared on National Geographic Wild's YouTube channel, a truck full of people can be seen enjoying the beautiful surroundings of the National Park. At the beginning of the clip, a truck full of tourists can be seen making its way through a dirt path. As the truck travels along the road, the camera captures the shrubland that conceal the park's wildlife. Soon the air is filled with the undeniable sound of trumpeting. Although the sounds that elephants make can be intimidating, the truth behind the noise can mean a number of things. Whatever the reason though, witnessing a wild elephant trumpeting firsthand is likely to have been a memorable experience for the tourists. However, they were soon in for an even bigger treat. Shortly after the noises began, the 4x4 stops. The adorable calf's mother ushers the baby across the road and into the trees out of sight. However, another elephant's trumpeting continues to rumble on in the background. With this in mind, the driver of the truck speeds off into the distance, but the angry elephant does not give up that easy and it takes after the tourists. The open-sided vehicle bounces along the dirt path trying to evade the angry giant. Despite the animal's apparent aggression though, Poole explained that the elephant's posture and acceleration indicated that the charge was unlikely to be serious. Following this attack though, the video shows the elephant backing away and the tourists appear to be fine. However, the animal doesn't seem to have escaped unscathed. Although it is unusual for elephants to break a tusk, it can prove detrimental. An injury such as this, for instance, can result in the elephant contracting a fatal infection. 
Despite the risks posed by damaged tusks, however, Poole told National Geographic Wild that the animal will likely survive because none of its nerves were exposed. <laughs>